Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the JavaScript tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to change the HTML table rows background color on mouse over and mouse out using a JavaScript. So let's start the tutorial. And now let's check the final output of our application. Change the HTML background color. See on mouse over, I'm getting the background color is highlighting and text color also is changing as well as it's displaying the bold, highlighting the bold. When I mouse out, if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I'm using Visual Studio Code. First, let's add one new text file. Then I'm selecting the language is the HTML. Here it is the HTML tag. Then I'm saving this file on my desktop under JavaScript iPhone tutorials. The file name is change background color change HTML um, table rows table rows BG color uh, mouse over. So this is a file name. Let's save this file. And here the file has been saved to an HTML file. Now, after that, I'm adding simple HTML, basic HTML elements here I'm adding. After the header tag, we require the body elements. Then inside this body, I'm adding one center tag. Inside the center tag, I'm adding H1. How to, how, how to change the HTML table um, table html table background color back table rows html table rows background color background color h2 javascript on mouse over on mouse over and and on mouse out on mouse out after that i'm adding one horizontal line after the horizontal line i'm adding one table element inside this table element i'm adding some data tr table td is a first name first name table td is the last name last name let's copy this one Now the first name I'm changing to Charan and the last name is K and this one Vijay last name is a Kumar Dubey. Now in the table I'm adding some style is equals to the style is border I'm adding border is solid one pixel and uh, and it's a black color i'm adding the black color then i'm adding cell padding padding is equals to 10 pixels 10 pixels and the table row the first table row which is the table headers that's under the table headers um here i'm adding the style is equals to background color is and let's add the antique white that's it let's save this file first before adding the javascript code first let's check the output of our application how it looks the designing part on the browser go to run start debugging and selecting the browser chrome and here we got the output of our data at this moment we have header tags horizontal line and the table which contains some data first name last name and these are the table uh, data here now my aim is when i mouse over on any uh, row table rows i want to highlight that particular row when i mouse out i want to remove the uh, unhighlight that row for that i'm using the javascript so let's switch over to our html page 
the javascript code i'm adding after the body element the code is script inside the script i'm adding declaring one variable is uh, table rows table rows is equals to document dot get element by id here what element i require the table element of the id so let's add the table element of the id is equals to table 1 tb uh, tb1 that tb1 here i'm adding let's copy this one i'm adding here tb1 then i'm i'm declaring for loop the for loop i want to count all the table um, the data what are the table data variable i is equals to one i'm adding here if i add zero here the zero is this one first time and last time which i don't want to highlight i want to highlight from the table uh, tr1 this is tr0 this is tr1 this is tr2 so table variable i is equals to one i is less than table rows dot rows dot length the length i require then i plus plus this is a for loop now in this for loop uh, we require one function here for that table rows this is a table rows i'm adding table rows dot rows rows um, i the i's i'm getting here table rows dot i dot on mouse over is equals to let's add one function name here function between curly brackets i'm adding this this is nothing but our table rows dot style dot style dot background color background color is equals to here i'm adding the gray color i want to display the background color gray and this dot style dot color is equals to color i want to display white white when i mouse over i want to display the table rows highlight gray color background color and the text color will be white then this dot style dot font 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 weight w is capital here weight these are the properties of the style font weight text uh, font weight color background color these are the properties of the style weight is equals to i want to display bold color bold now the same thing i'm copying when i mouse out instead of mouse over i'm adding mouse out these are the default uh, function names so we have to use the same names only mouse on mouse over and mouse out when i mouse out i want to unhighlight that table rows instead of bold i want to display the normal normal size that's it now let's save this file again we'll check the output let's check the final output of our application start debugging and here we got the final output of our application how to change the html table rows background color on mouse or on mouse out. mouse out and notice here oops here something went wrong let's fix that one here the background color c is capital sorry for that background color c is capital and this one is c is capital let's save this file again we'll check the final output we got the browser and now let's check the final output of our application change the html background color see on mouse over i'm getting the background color is highlighting and text color also is changing as well as it's displaying the bold highlighting the bold when i mouse out it's unhighlighting that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to change the table rows background color when mouse over and mouse out using a javascript thanks for watching this video tutorial please subscribe share and leave your valuable comment we'll catch you in my next video tutorial